Welcome back to Daily Blast Live. Is your neighbor's dog keeping you up at night? Well, it could be worse. Your neighbor could be throwing sex-fueled parties. <gasps> That's what's happening in one upscale Denver suburb. Nearly 100 people attend the parties at what is referred to as, quote, Thunderstorm Play Palace. But the, I can't believe I just said that. But the party organizer says he isn't doing anything wrong because it's in the privacy of his own home and he keeps the activities indoors. So whose side are you on? That's today's fifth host. Take it away, Sam. Thunderstorm Sex Palace. Is that right, Tori? Play Let's Palace. Play Palace. Oh, I'm so sorry. Go. Let's get right to your comments. Veronica Bryce writes, I'm not surprised. It's always those repressed suburban housewives <laughs> who get the most freaky. I don't think uh, so. I just think it's that they have money. When you have money, you can get freaky. You I mean, mean who, money else, freaky? Who, who else is buying, you know, sex wing for 1500 bucks? Some mother of nine that can barely keep food in the refrigerator? Are it's for rich people. That's who gets freaky. What do you think that Eyes Wide Shut was a movie? It's, it's a good not, movie. It's not for rich people. I am very familiar with this place. Oh. Never been it's there. A, it's an Erica's favorites in our GPS. I've never been there <laughs> because I don't have judgment about these things. Neither do I've I. never been there, but I have friends who are in the polyamory community, and the polyamory community is very alive and well in Colorado without judgment. So it's not just for rich people. You would be surprised by the diverse group of people who go. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you, Erica Cobb. Peggy Williams. Like <laughs> that they do what they do in their own house, short of cooking meth or selling drugs, is their business. <laughs> That many vehicles parked on the street has to be a nightmare, though. I'm not sure if there is a legal issue with Way that. Way to kill the sexuality with that. So what's the difference? What's the permit situation? <laughs> yeah, stay out, of my, uh, stay out of my sex what thunder would, palace. What would the difference be if they were just having a different occasion? You're allowed to have backyard barbecues. I, don't, I agree with Peggy. I mean, the <laughs> parking about situation the bar gets rough sometimes, so I agree with Peggy. <laughs> but, I mean, what, you're, what you do behind closed doors is yeah. all good with me. As long as it's just, consensual. And don't ask me to dinner. You know what I mean? With me and my wife. All right, Jeff. We're not now, you knew this was going on. You knew this was going on next door, but they, it wasn't loud. You just knew it was happening. You just knew. It is loud. That's, Would it? It is loud. People have said they. <laughs> if you read it's the article, it's a Thunderdome. Folks, it's loud. There's loud noises. <laughs> I'm yeah. just regurgitating the article. Would you want to live next to next door to that? I wouldn't mind it. Here's the thing. Here's Jeff. <laughs> Here's the thing. If if you are gonna have your big old backyard ba barbecues and you invite 100 people, what's the difference if they want to do their own thing in their own home? But it's the concept that you know that you know, 100 feet from where your kids sleep. That's a good point. It's going down. I just thought of Sophie yeah. overhearing, and now my blood but doesn't like yes. it. At the same time, two feet from where your kids sleep, it's probably going down somewhere. Yeah, so it's, it's not like amplified by 100 people. Two well, feet? I mean, I'm just, well, you and your <laughs> wife has got a lot are, of you know, in-depth like... knowledge about this place. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Uh. Christopher A. Brown writes, sure, everyone is an adult. I'm sure the neighbors that weren't invited are the ones that are so <laughs> mad. Completely agree with Mr. Brown, 100%. <laughs> That's just hating. You just mad because you're, you're watching uh, you just the games flopped. when you know what's going on. You just flip flop your, your game. Yeah. Pay attention to those white there. rocks outside the front door. <laughs>